today pretty good i had a whole 11 yeah. hour sleep i saw Whoa. that oh my god what happened you knocked um, yourself out or? well i went live <laughs> last night uh watched an ethel video so that'll always put you to sleep um, oh yeah um yeah. and then <laughs> because i have a thing with the now recording discord now where i told them get on me if i jump into this discord to talk to y'all before 1 a.m and I'm not supposed to be in here unless it's between one and two. That way it gives me time to actually work on the script that I'm uh -huh. working on for the video. That way it makes me work on it. All right. Uh, and yeah. as soon as I got done, I popped into there at 2 a.m. I popped uh, two sleep aid pills 
And then oh. probably about an hour and a half afterwards, I was like, okay, I'm tired. I got to go to bed. And I slept until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Yep. That's that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> sleep chills. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Oh, well, what is up in the chat? Hello, everybody. We are live. Get your friends in here, whatever. Uh, who have we got? We've got... We call a guy. Echo, what's up? Tori, Arts Ridley, Raider, Meta, Motley, Twilly Midna, Medley, Sage of Winds, Hello, Star, Katie Johnson. Hello, Arts Ridley. Did I say your name already? I can't remember. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, so what are you doing? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's going what on? How are y'all doing? Hmm? 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 Yeah. Did you, did you eat a sandwich secret. today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had chicken nuggets with honey. With honey? Ooh. Yeah. I want, yeah. for some reason, I wanted honey with it, and it was really good. Okay. Yeah, that's you remember different. when Burger King, when, when I was little, Burger King used to give you honey with your chicken. Yeah, I think so you can get. I think you can get honey. honey so good. I think you can get honey from uh, Chick Fil A also if you get chicken nuggets from there. Not Chick Fil A oh. sauce. No, I don't <laughs> like the. Sauce? I don't like the Chick Fil A sauce. Oh, I love Chick Fil A sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't we don't have it, it here. It. I I we haven't don't. had it before, so I don't know. No. Oh. oh. Somebody got a That's new really air sad. fryer. Who got a new air fryer? Midna got a new air fryer. Lucky. Oh my god, what? it changes it changes your life, doesn't it? Like yeah. all this time, I, like I got one for Christmas as well. All this time, I have never had one, and I'm like, I don't need that. I don't need that. It just makes you, you know, makes me want to have things that you have to fry and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not good with frying food. I just don't like fried food. And I was just like, hang on, we can cook like meat in there you can cook your Anything. veggies in there you can cook a whole roast in there if you wanted to yeah. oh my god changed my life i really did i don't have to do yeah. it wait for it to heat up you just go do, do, do. all done you dehydrate yeah, and it tastes way better oh my god it does i got yeah. a weird air fryer i got the air fryer um my husband got it for me it's more like a little oven that you can and it even has a rotisserie on there Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's like what I got. It's yeah. got the brawl and bake. And, yeah. yeah, I have that I one. It's actually really good. I have. Okay. I, I need to clean it out. I haven't used it in months because I still need to clean it. But yeah, oh, it's easy to clean. You just turn it on for a couple of minutes, get it hot, and then pour it down the sink and fucking. Okay, oh, yeah. See, my air fryer is not like that. Mine actually has yeah, shells, it's like a little toaster like a, oven. Yeah, mine's like literally like an oven. So I have oh, to clean it with like yeah. oven cleaner and stuff. Yeah, I've yeah. got like a little, like, it's like a little tray almost. You just pull it out and that's it. Yeah. 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 But, but it listen, does everything. I, I, I do love things that make your life better, like my countertop dishwasher. I was going to ask yeah. about that. How is that going? I love that thing. I absolutely love that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's still that's going good. strong. Hell yeah. I was Most literally people. just trying to get Cooter to let me get one the other day, and he was like, "We really don't have room to store it." And I was like, "I I'll will clean say this." Other than we don't use. <laughs> I will say this: it is bigger than I thought it was going to be because I was hoping that I was going to be able oh. to slide it right under my cabinet, up against the yeah. wall. But no, 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 it was a little bit oh. too tall. So what you need to do is measure where you want to put it. Because there are different uh, countertop dishwashers, and I think some of them are smaller, like, shorter than the others. Oh, okay. So, you need to actually, like, measure before you buy one. Yeah. Because if I was, a if I was able to actually fit it where I wanted it to go, it would have been a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can, I might get rid of some stuff just so I have room to get one. Because I hate washing dishes. I feel like I wash dishes, like, 50 times a day. Yeah. I just can't believe how many dishes me and my husband go through. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And then I finally started getting paper plates. And now I understand why Skip used to yell at me for getting, um, to get paper plates this whole time. Yeah. It's so much easier. Oh my God. It's amazing. Like paper plates oh, yeah. are the way to go. Uh, yeah. Uh, see, I'm the only one that washes dishes. Do you guys like, do your partners wash your dishes? Like, oh, hell no. I, my, yeah. Well, I will mm -hmm. say this. My husband on the weekends would wash dishes. 
He would. You know. That's a good man. Yeah. You know, but so yeah, I will not. I, yeah, I'm at the point where, like, I just let it pile up, and until I can't actually cook or anything, then I wash it. I'm like, ah, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the I mean, I wash, like, little laughing. low. Yeah. I, I'm, like, OCD where something's in the sink. I'm like, I have to wash it. I'll stay in there oh, and yeah. wash, like, three nah. pieces of silver. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We wash the dishes eventually, but, uh, God, it's, it's like... Who wants to do that for the rest of their life? I reckon, like, yeah. you know how people say, like, what you spend, like, um, two-thirds of your life sleeping or whatever? I reckon I spend one-third of my life washing dishes. So, yeah, uh, that is exactly how I feel. I feel like I'm just washing dishes all day I long. hate washing dishes. <laughs> I've been washing, I've been hand-washing dishes since I was, like, little. And yeah. I never owned a dishwasher before. And I was like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm striking. I am not washing another damn dish. I mean, I still yeah, have to yeah. wash, like, big stuff, which is fine. But, yeah, I was just irritated. Yes, yeah, the little stuff that is so, like, oh, my God. If I just didn't have to wash silverware ever again, I'd be so happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the easiest part. You just put it in, like, a bucket and fill it up with hot water. And then it get like, yeah, and then go back over it and wipe it over. Like, I've got a routine for these things. That's the last thing, yeah. you know. You fill up <laughs> your thing full of hot water, pull your little bits and pieces in there, and then go back to it. And by that point, it's yeah, all you're like, doing it like restaurant style. That's how. Yeah, it yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's where I got it from. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Isn't it uh, horrible? We're just we hate doing dishes that much. Yeah, yeah. but we still do it, and that's what we're good women for that. Yeah. yeah, true. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, let's uh, kind of announce what we're going to start doing. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, we're kind of changing the format on how we do things here on the broadcast. Uh, we're still going to shoot for doing two uploads a week because we still want to do two uploads a week, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. our live streams. But we're not going to do, like, the React content like we've been doing, except for on live streams. Live streams, it's easier for React content. Um, but we're actually going to start bringing in people uh, to talk to and, and have special guests and stuff like that. Because Yay. I'm finally getting over my fear and messaging people because we didn't do that because of me. So, <laughs> well, and, and you know, as well, like, you know, you, you did say, hey, ki like, hey, like, Eva, like, you know, go and, you know, reach out to people. Can you reach out to this person? I'm like, yeah. Well, but, you want, but the thing is, is you and I had the same pain, but the sad part is, is I, I actually talk to a lot of people, but I'm always been too scared to ask. So. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I bro, know. I, I know. I should, I, I should feel ashamed of myself. I am so mm -hmm, sorry. No. I had a lapse of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> but that the thing is that if you guys have someone that, you know, you want to see on the broadcast and you want us to talk to and you think, like, you know, would make a good show, let us know. Yeah. Like, put it in the comments, write it in the chat, you know, tweet at us, whatever you want to do. And just say, look, I reckon this person will be pretty cool for you to get on the show so yeah absolutely y'all yeah. want need us to get like death it. noodles back yeah we can get death noodles back <laughs> oh good sure. god i don't even know what death noodles <laughs> is doing now mr gamer oh, just let you know uh dark piper is autistic and australian okay well australian has nothing to do with the autistic just saying well uh well, i was about to say uh, do it is there science to back that well, i think so <laughs> no, I, I don't know. As the Australian in this one, I, I think there's some sort of correlation, but I'm not quite sure what it is. But um, it's the heat. It's the heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the heat. I will definitely give that to you because y'all go mm -hmm. through. I, wow. There's no way. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Well, the thing uh -oh. now is actually like, uh, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, so forgive me, but it's like, I don't know, 16, 17 degrees, which is kind of like a, like a, a spring sort of day, right? And it's so cold because you're comparing it to what it was in summer. So it's like, I don't know, it's like normally I wouldn't be this sort of cold because you're not used to it, you know, yeah. and it sort of, it sort of chills you to a bit, but... Yeah, 
Uh, Vangelina, Peter Munn. That's a good idea. Peter Munn. Ooh. Oh. I would yeah, fangirl. So wanna... I would fangirl yeah. too much for Peter Munn. Yeah. I can tell you now. He's <laughs> amazing. Oh, my God. He's such a silver uh, fox. I know. Yeah. I think I'm on. I would tell him he's handsome like 50 times and he'd just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and the clown girl. I can see him on his chair now. And the clown girl. She just kept calling me handsome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, crazy. Pearly things? I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, God. I don't know, stars. Uh, Actually, that would be one. amazing. I just... Oh, I just but she wouldn't just talk be... to me. I can tell you now she wouldn't talk to me. I know. I can just see it being like a massive debate, but we don't, we don't want a debate. We just want to fucking talk, you know? And it's like... Ugh. I can just see it, like, you know, go, like, she'd probably, like, do some sort of research, which she probably doesn't, go into how to look at the start of this episode, right? And be like, oh, typical housewife behavior, talking about appliances and stuff like that and doing dishes. And, yeah. Like, I just, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't. Heck yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. throwing some good ideas, though, like Adam and Mama McIntyre. Oh, and... yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really, Max definitely on the on the list, I think, as well. Like, he's a cool dude, especially for your day one commentary, bro. Like, we've got to have him on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was going to message him tonight, most likely. Tonight or tomorrow. Ooh. And see if we can get him in yeah. next week sometime. <sighs> Very cool. All right, so speaking of Willie Mac, we're going to go over his video that dropped at 3 in the morning. Oh, Ooh. Wait, Malcolm. I don't know who. Ro Wait, who is? What? Who? Ro oh Ro God, damn it, Malcolm. That's a person. Oh, that is a YouTuber, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have no idea who they, they are. Cover. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I know them either. What do they do? Let's look at. Let's look and find name. out. One moment, please. Yeah. Let's look and find yeah. out. Because I've heard that name before. I've had that name suggested to me before. Uh, look, Swoop would be amazing to have one, but the thing is, I don't know if she's got the time to speak to us little yeah, girls. Yeah, probably not. No, but, uh, it definitely wouldn't be a six or seven hour interview like she usually does. But, like, <laughs> like, yeah, I think I'd fangirl a little bit too hard with her as well, to be honest. Yeah. And Sally might try to fight her for being too pretty. Well, yeah, you got that. Oh. <laughs> um, it looks like she they cover going. like Twitch poll ish type of stuff and or oh, art commentary sort of kind of. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, so like Tipster, Poppy Kill, Brianna Wu. Okay, I get ya. Right. So it is basically Gosh, Twitch, Twitch yeah. poll sort of drama. Yeah, they're really into the Xena and Poppy stuff, which I know absolutely nothing about. Oh, yeah. Courtney oh, Orchard. Use my brain. Yeah, yeah, they covered that stuff. Oh, here we go about okay. Wick. All right, here's Wick. Oh, I love Wick. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. He's great. <laughs> uh yeah so yeah hmm. and he has a wiggler uh, oh god yes <laughs> so yeah i didn't know i didn't know i mean i've heard him i've heard people say this channel name before which i'm i'm gonna admit i love this channel name mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i love that yeah. channel name yeah so all right, so anyway, we are going to watch Willie's video, react yes. to Real Willie's video. Hell yeah, react content. React content, let's go! All right, <laughs> uh, I already got it on 1.25. Let me go do the volume up. I don't know why my volume's halfway done. And we're going to get started. Some are challenges, right. some are facts and glitches, some of it is speedrunning. But in the commentary community, he's mostly known for his hatred of React content, where he made a 14-page manifesto detailing why React content is immoral. 14 pages! I was about to say, did you ever read that? 
No oh, way. That, I didn't no. either. I'm not reading 14 pages. I read it. No. No, give me the TLDR, please. Like, that's, I'm not, I'm reading all that. Thank you. Oh, on the yeah. video I'm working, someone mm -hmm. uh, handed me a docket, or not a docket, a, um, a, a, a folder, I guess you can say, or whatever, has over 600 pages in it. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, I, mm -hmm. I literally, like, it, I'm intrigued, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, that's a lot. I would die. I would die. I'd be, like, hiring someone to do the TLDR for me. Like, you know, bring it down to, like, two pages for me, please. That'll be great. Yeah, we know, Mr. Fortune. Gamer. Thank you. All right. Oh does whatever God. political creator does, acting like the only way he can make his point is comparing it to the worst thing possible. In this case, great. Saying if you meet a reactor at a party, I suggest covering your glass. Or outright telling them you don't want them to F you. Because they seem keen to take a person's silence as consent. With Vosh, he compares CP to owning a computer. With Viper, it's grape if you react to a YouTube video. He even clarifies, it's hyperbole, but only slight- Okay, I gotta say this about Dark Viper. Dark Viper's teeth is kind of weird to me. His, his whole vibe is kind of weird to me it's like yeah. well yeah the whole vibe style. is weird but i'm just like, talking yeah. about the teeth the teeth is just really weird and kind right. of freak me I, out i have to yeah, look at his a bit harder i think yeah uh Rolf, thank ding, you for the hundred ding, ding, let's ding, go ding, 14 ding, pages ding. hell yeah 14 pages Woo! thank you thank you <laughs> Slightly so. The difference between actively ignoring consent for financial gain is not so far removed from ignoring consent for sexual gratification. So today we're going to be discussing Viper's Grape, also known as the time someone reacted to his content. Some of it he's right, some of it I disagree with. All of it's over the top. It's 14 pages! 14 pages! 14, 14 pages! Oh, my oh God. I noticed his teeth. He's got them weird little tic tac teeth where they're round on the bottom. Is that what it is? I don't know, That's what but it looks it's something. Like. The, something about his top teeth kind of freak me out, and I don't, I can't pinpoint what it is. And every time I see him talk, I just stare at his teeth. Is it yeah. like a like a plate or whatever it's called, like clip-in teeth or something? Or is I don't like think so. Teeth? They look round on the bottom instead of being like flat or pointed. They're like. They looked round. I'd have to see it again. I ain't got my glasses on either, so yeah, I might be completely wrong. Yeah, yeah you might be completely ground. right. I don't know. <laughs> you might have, you might have just, like, ground his teeth too hard, and, like, that's just the way it is now. Like, I don't know. Maybe. They seem too mm. big or something. They oh, kind of okay. seem too yeah. big to me. Well, you'll see. Hold on. He's this using a, a soundbite of one of the most traumatic, angry moments of my entire life. It's 14 pages! I've I'm never been this mad at a person in the entirety of my life! It was the worst period in the entirety of my life. He has made my life worse measurably so that i can't have a day to myself i don't deserve shit. i will get back to editing he is oh an angry god. angry man he is an angry yeah. angry man oh my god go find god or something yeah like, i know Seriously. why does sligan <laughs> say he kind of looks like me i don't and i don't look like that oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Dear God. I want to start off by laying out Matt's take on React content, with the focus being on streamers, complaining that they are taking other people's work that took hours and hours to make, and then flipping it. So now they have a product that's equal in quality, but it took them only the amount of time to react to it on stream, showing a diagram how a React streamer can steal up to 1,500 hours worth of labor in a single hour of streaming. I think Hassan's a prime example of this, using videos to entertain his stream while he leaves to do something else. Yes, and I will say this. I kind of, when they start talking about React content, I kind of get, I kind of take it personal. Because that's what I do on my channel. But I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. I don't do what these guys do. Sometimes I have a 17-minute video and I go an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. And that is completely fair use. That is absolutely fair use. Yeah. I just, yeah. It, 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 I just get worried when people start complaining about React content. Because I know how YouTube overcompensates on yeah. things. And I'm like... Oh dear God! Please, please don't let this be the end! Please don't let this be the end! No! Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> they could decide to do that. I always get nervous whenever I hear it. Hold on, I gotta pee. I'm sorry. National correspondent. Or Denim streaming full episodes of Avatar while touting on Twitter how streaming is the hardest job she's ever had. But his argument isn't that some reactors are bad; it's that they're all bad. He argues that React streamers are stealing the labor of content creators and using their own work to outcompete them for finite impressions. Now, objectively, yes, it's competing for eyeballs just like any piece of content is online. But the only compelling part to me is that it's now potentially competing with the original work. In my personal experience, because that's all we can go off of, when people react to my content, I usually get no jump in viewership. Over the dozens of times my videos have been reacted to, I've only had two major boosts. He actually encourages people to react to his content yeah bless him yeah 
Willie, uh, Willie literally encourages people to react to his content. And he even, like, because I like to wait. I usually like to wait 24 hours if it's somebody that I like. But Willie's like, nah, you don't have to do that. Diesel's the same way. FPS Diesel. Yeah. He's like, you don't have to wait 24 hours. Just go ahead and react to it. I don't care. You know, they always encourage it. So, yeah. One was from Destiny and the other one was from Charlie. And I think it's because those content creators were somewhat invested in those dramas at the time. So their viewers were more willing to take the time to come comment on the original. Now, how many times have I noticeably lost viewership? Never. There's never been an obvious dip in viewership after somebody's reacted to the video, even when the reaction has many times the views. But other creators have documented this happening. Internet Anarch is showing there was an 87% dip in impression, as well as a 52% decrease in views on the day of the re-upload. Mad Seasons documented something similar. Then we notice a little spike here on May 12th, because this is when everyone's favorite corporal, decided he wanted to watch some real content and he reacted to it. So you'll see a bump in viewership here because he's consistent about getting credit and linked the video to his stream after watching it. But even visually here, you'll notice an immediate decline. We have a pretty significant decrease in viewership, presumably due to the fact that from this date, there are now two major copies of this video sharing the algorithm. But he hammers home that react content is actually the- I think the difference in um, what we do and what I've done is I also don't name my live stream or my reacts the exact name of what the video is named either. And Yay. I and I don't copy and I don't copy their uh their thumbnails either. Or do mm. I try to make my thumbnail look like theirs? I actually yeah. also, do it totally different. What? But also like what they were showing there with like that timeline, right? It's mm -hmm. almost a whole year that they're showing this th uh, that video, right? right? So it was like from September through to the next, oh, no, it was December through to the September. It's like, I don't believe that any of your videos maintain like that sort of viewership over that period of time. Like obviously it's going to go down, but like we've yeah. got nothing yeah, that too with that person the first the, one video. the first 24 to 48 hours is when you're going to get the most viewership on that yeah. video the only time yeah. after that you're going to you may get a lot of viewership afterwards it's like okay like with the whole mama max thing when everybody started looking into mama max well everybody started watching old videos about mama max so right, then you're going to yeah. get boosted in the algorithm again but your mm -hmm. video within the tw first 24 to 48 hours that's when most of the views you're going to get is going to be on that video within that yeah, so 24, yeah. 48 hours so it's yeah, going so to drop off after that exactly yeah it's obviously going to drop off uh yeah. scoff says i can understand dark viper though some people spend days to make a video weeks and then some people just react to it like it's nothing well you know it's a video it's out there and you can make it content by reacting to it. But it depends on yeah. how you react to it. If you can have a full-blown conversation about it, like, you should at least double the time. Like, right. I could put a yeah. video on 1.5 and say it's an hour-long video. I have it at 1.5. I can still make two hours of content out of that 1.5 or out of that yeah. one hour, you know? So. Yeah, people do videos reviewing anything. Why should a video be any different? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. and as long as it, as long as you're actually linking the original source as well, I don't see mm -hmm. any issue with it. Yeah, it's not, it's not like you're taking away anything from it. Like how Willie just said, like he actually has had a couple of larger streamers peak his viewership because they linked his um linked his channel and linked his video afterwards too and told right. people to go have a look at it so yeah and i always yeah. link the video whether i like the person or not yeah, like every exactly, time yeah. like every time i've uh, reacted to just pearly things or even um uh max uh max carson uh Ma not mama max What's mr his girl name? mr girl i've yeah. linked, i've linked their videos i, I do that because yeah. i want you to be able to go watch it to, so that way you can see either Let's put it this way. So you can go hear it without the commentary, and you can see I wasn't taking something out of context. Or if I got yeah. something wrong and you may have heard it where I didn't hear it, you could put it in the comments and, like, correct yeah. me or whatever. It's called cover your yeah. ass. You exactly. Know? That's what commentary is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Worse for people who aren't reacted to at all. He compares it to pollution. I went into such intricate detail to explain that everyone suffers from react content, but those who are reacted to suffer the least. We can use pollution as an example. You've got the people at the top, the polluters, who make tons of money polluting the planet. Then you have the people who work for them who make some of that money as well. Then you have literally everyone else who's like, can you guys like stop polluting the planet? 
Like, we, we don't work for you, but we do suffer because of what you're doing. And the second tier's like, why the f*** are you complaining, man? I'm getting a great paycheck here. And the people at the top are like, look at all these f***ing people. They don't, they don't even work for us. They don't work for us. They're not our responsibility. Every class except the top is ultimately worse off. The people in the second class who get some benefit are less worse off. But everyone else is the worst off. All React content. What? That yeah, he's got way too many teeth in his mouth. Okay, is that I, I what it is? Way. Okay, yeah, so it I'm looks not crazy. Like his, he's got a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'm not crazy then. That's amazing. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy then. <laughs> um, what the hell? Okay, maybe I'm slow, but I didn't get his context about the pollution and the React content. Like, I don't see where it correlates. Yeah, yeah, because people no. that are on, like, the lower, like, tiers of whatever he's talking about also do that. So I don't see, it. like, it's it's doesn't correlate to what he's saying, really. Like, it's, I don't know. Okay, yeah. so Mater, to... Mater felt the same way. That made zero sense to me. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Yeah. What's up, British no, Runner? No, no, you're not crazy. Okay, yeah. I'm not crazy then. What's up, British Runner? It makes you a bad person. Not that it's necessarily illegal. You are taking that guy's 500 hours of labor in order to take all these impressions and therefore viewers from every other content creator. If you were to disappear, everyone would be better off. However, all original content creators have just as much right to be in this space as anyone else. Who's to say they're not? Who is mm. saying they're not? Yeah. Without those content creators, we wouldn't have things to, to react to. Like what? <laughs> Obviously they, what? He makes no sense. No. Nice. Yeah, it's only it's a war awesome. on his end. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's Reactors don't. Chill the fuck out. It's not that serious. Writing what is legal is not necessarily good by any standard. Just because slavery was once legal didn't make it good. And sir. Bro. <laughs> why is he, why is he comparing it to slavery? Certainly, even if this labor exploitation was legal, it wouldn't make it any less exploitative. If you're a React streamer, you're a rapist and a slave owner, apparently. Could we pick more yeah. extreme examples? Is this Vosh's younger brother? The reason why he wants to discuss the morality of React content is because we don't know the legality of it. I get it, we don't have a legal precedent set, and everyone's barometer for what they count as fair use is going to be a little bit different. Which is why he says, who cares about fair use? For example, I clarified my position on fair use, which can be summarized as, who the f*** cares? Even lawyers aren't positive. Well, we can say the same about what you're saying, dude. Like, everyone's got an opinion. Like. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? <laughs> What's up, Lord Vega? When it comes to what counts and what doesn't when it comes to fair use. Some say most of it likely counts as fair use. Others say live stream react content might be impossible to be considered fair use. If you react to anything and you're adding enough commentary to the fact that it's not a replacement of the original, then, yeah. then I think then it's fair use, I think. That's no, I, 100%. But if all he did was facial expressions and he did not commentary <laughs> at all, all he did, that would actually be transformative. Yes, leaving to take a break will almost certainly violate copyright due to the lack of commentary. Well, obviously. But arguably, so does just watching it in real time if there's no commentary being made. That's the whole point. As long as you're uh -huh. giving commentary and you can make it a discussion and you have points and you can either rebuttal or explain, yes, I agree with this and this is the reason why I agree with this and blah, 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 then boom, it's fair use. I mean, it's Absolutely. easy. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my God. Dark Viper is such a, ugh. And this highlights why it might actually be impossible for any live streamer to have a live stream reaction where they're just simply playing the entire video and reacting. At the end of the day, the legal argument just isn't that productive to debate because there is no black and white line for where fair use starts and ends. It's up to courts to figure that out. Now, the online community has largely already come to agreement on what they think is and isn't acceptable when it comes to react content. And that's if you're getting up and leaving or adding minimal commentary that might as well not be there. Yes, don't be like Hassan and don't be like Sniper Wolf. There you go. Right. Yeah. As long <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not like those two, you're good. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What were you saying, Eva? I was going to say, that's definitely a rule to live by. Don't, yeah. don't be like those guys. <laughs> don't be like them. <laughs> don't be like them. <laughs> oh, it looks like a cartoon. Sniper Wolf's reactions are oh not valid God. by the community. <laughs> <and she> <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Like, I, I, I get her content, I think, is more directed to, like, preteens and that sort of thing. Like, I kind of, like, get that. But she she literally adds nothing of value to anything. No, and she doesn't also... transform it. She does not That's transform right. the content at all. 
And didn't we find out that it wasn't even her writing, like, her, like, you know, scripts or yep. whatever it is to react to? It was her partner at the time. Like, uh, how do you need a script for saying what she's saying? Like, it's literally... Yeah, you're just uh, observing things and saying it. <laughs> ridiculous. It's like the worst type of content create. Like, <laughs> honestly. Ugh. Faces backlash for it. What is valued as if a creator is being critical or analyzing a video, significantly adding to the runtime? How, as a React content creator, do you avoid taking the piss? Well, I think that so long as you're clearly trying, it's fine. You don't have to knock it out of the park every time. So long as there's clearly a respect and understanding there that you are working with someone else's content, I think you're good. Viper, on the other hand, thinks they can never add enough. It's all bad all the time. All reactors do is sit and steal from the original content creators. I think Viper needs to get laid. I, it, uh, I don't know, like, uh, I don't even want to think about that, to be honest. Like, trying to look at, like, look at, look at him. No. He acts like an sure. incel. When it comes to copyright, he acts like an incel. Oh, yeah, 100%, which means I think that no woman would ever touch him. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I'm thinking right now just from, like, visually observing him that would make me think. <laughs> I, he's, I just got a lot of, he's got a lot of anger built up inside him. I wonder if that's, that's it. Like, mm -hmm. he just needs to, like, get some sort of release. <laughs> Go to the gym or something. Yeah. Maybe that, yeah. I mean, Lost steam that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's apparently <laughs> he skipping arm day. Arm. Just saying. It's oh, oh, yes. <laughs> he's got spaghetti arms. We were thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> They siphon exposure via impressions to themselves, keep people on their channels instead of other people's, and they flick a few every once in a while to someone else. Except in the premise that React content shouldn't exist, everything React content takes is taken from these people. Whoever they are, wherever they are, they're just logically true. When it comes to React content being the worst because it's stealing impressions from completely unrelated creators, I don't care. I value the authentic entertainment of a first time viewing React video more than the 5,000th Minecraft Let's Play video that's been uploaded this month. True. <laughs> true. Oh. <laughs> true. Maybe it's just because I'm a drama YouTuber, but I think the internet's at its best when people are easily able to interact and give their opinion without having to worry about copyright. It's called social media for a reason. Of course, there are some nuanced differences from what creators want reactors to do. Some don't want them to reuse the thumbnails. Others want them to wait four days before reacting. But I realized that- I don't think you should reuse the thumbnails. No. no. I, think that, I think that's- uh, Listen, I, I honestly do not like it when I see uh, reactors reusing the thumbnails of the people they're reacting to. Get off your lazy ass and create a new thumbnail. I don't know, unless yeah. like unless it's a meme or something where you think it's if it's funny, you know what I mean? Like, but in any other way, yeah, do do some homework, do some actual, you know, something else to go towards what you're reacting to. I think the closest like, I, I think the closest I ever came was um, that Mena situation with the um, oh, what was it? The guy who cat catches um, scammers, scammer payback. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I kind of did her idea of a thumbnail and called her a scumbag YouTuber when she, I don't know, she said something, but my thumbnail looked close to hers, but it had her on the face of it instead of his, and my words were changed different. It was close to what she did. I think that's the closest I ever came to copying yeah, her thumbnail. Yeah, but you... You generally memed it though. Yeah. Like you did that for yeah. a reason. Yeah. yeah. See, I think that's totally that if, different. Yeah. If you're a big creator who's going to react to someone's video. You should wait at least four days for it to be pushed in the algorithm naturally. No, kiss my ass. I'm not waiting four days. I'll give you no, 24 I hours. Unless I know no I can people. do it within 24 hours. Yeah. Really. And that's what Asmund and I talked about and agreed on after this happened. In this way, it creates buildup for his audience. They'll ask him to watch the video and they just have to wait patiently. So when he finally does, his audience is going to be excited. It means that my video will do better in turn and so will his. You can see the difference in views on these two videos despite them being on the same game. But as of right now, creators and viewers value the free speech and opinions that come with good reaction content more than they value potentially losing that extra dollar. Actman expressed that sentiment and Viper started a whole conspiracy because of it. As someone who takes passion in what I do, I enjoy watching those reactions. They always do really well on his channel and some might say but act man he's stealing views from you those views belong to you maybe they do i can't say for certain but what i can say is a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel wouldn't be subscribed if asmongold never made these videos okay that and there's some people that okay for example me reacting to these old apple videos right there is no right. i have so many people telling me 
I would never watch this because one, I'm not watching her, and two, yeah. she's so boring. I couldn't do this without you commentating on it. Right. Yeah. You know. So. I sent him a message. I, he hasn't responded, but I'm even if he does respond, I'm not going to tell you what he says because I, I, I'm, I'm more asking him for, out of curiosity. I have seen the negative response from viewers when others have called out Asmongold, who previously associated with him in the past. I ask you honestly, do you really see Asmund as better than the others you criticized, or did you worry about how it would reflect on you to speak negatively to him? And they act more to defend reactors than they do anything else. It doesn't matter the formulation that re reaction content takes, at least in the sort that I'm talking about. The live stream reaction and then just throwing it up on YouTube. To most other people, the form it takes matters. That's the consensus. This world where he wants every creator to strike every reaction video, people don't want it. Viewers don't want it. Creators don't want it. So what's the solution? Ultimately, enough content creators banding together and saying, hey, we do not like reaction content. Cutting off the supply. The viewers will never cut off demand, but creators can cut off the supply. And unfortunately, what all of these videos do is say, hey, reaction content's fine as long as you like the reactor. So it's nothing really as... Wait, what? What? Yeah, what? Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. The viewers will never... Banding together and saying, hey, we do not like reaction content. Cutting off the supply. The viewers will never cut off demand, but creators can cut off the supply. And unfortunately... So you're going to cut off the supply. If you cut off so, the supply, what, you're not going to make videos? Well, that yeah. kind of harms your channel, does it not? Yeah, I don't right. get what it means. And he's kind of liking it to, like, you know, drugs or something, the way he's talking about it. Like, he's like, you know, if we don't <laughs> give them what they want, they can't be itching for it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird the way he's talking about it. I don't, I don't like it, but yeah. <laughs> Midna said, cut off the supply like we're the ones doing meth. Exactly. We know your <laughs> secret, <laughs> sir. <laughs> what all of these videos do is say, hey, reaction content's fine, as long as you like the reactor. Since nothing really is legally keeping people in line, it's up to the community to self-police for what is and isn't okay. Viper understands this. It's legal-ish. Ish. Yeah. Like they could claim it, yeah. they could strike yeah. it. Yeah. It's legal-ish. Sure. You know what? I want to go back. I might go back and find this and react mm. to it on my channel. Yeah. yeah. Because I bet you that was a good one. Because I haven't watched this one yet. Wait, for now. Yeah. I, I yeah. like, At the end of the day, even when even when things are legal, what you want if, is like um, social sanctions. Like um, if, if you watch Ludwig's video talking about the gambling thing, he said, um, I don't know if I would take a gambling sponsorship, but it's not because I think it's bad, but because I worry what people will think of me. My audience will be angry yeah. at me, potentially. And, and that kind of stuff is really powerful. And this does happen. Once a year, XQC and Hassan get ritualistically blasted for leaving while the video is still playing, deterring other streamers from doing it. Because they're idiots, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> the community has landed where as long as you're present and trying, especially if you're being critical, then you're okay. He tries to act like in 2016 we had different standards. We didn't. Like back in the day with reaction content, um, people would be like, oh, well, you're doing reaction content? You f***ing scum. Like, oh, sh like they're not doing reaction content, even though it's legal. Yes. But the person who people were complaining about was Jinx, who never added anything. Hassan is better. XQC is better. Something Viper and I agree on is that we don't want a lazy streamer to get sued by a big company and then set a bad precedent for what right. fair use is. Viper writes, the legal positions of platforms like YouTube and Twitch balance on a razor's edge. All it would take is one single significant challenge that could destroy this delicate balance make all of our careers impossible i will say twitch lets them get away with too much oh yeah like oh yeah um like i've had to leave in the middle of a reaction i don't let it play i pause it and go to another screen and then i go and do what i gotta do at that moment come back and then we hit the, i'm not gonna have it play while i get up and leave that's rude because how am i going to react to it if i'm not there to react to yeah. it yeah Exactly. Mm. It makes no sense to do that. Have a good night, British Runner. Citing XQC, Disguise Toast, and the sign watching anime and cartoons. The problem is Viper is a complete spurk. He gets caught up in emotion and semantics rather than the topic, so it leads to some of the most unproductive dialogues. Cause I am the baddest of them all. If you ain't about money, then I don't mess with y'all. Really I love his segues. I love his segues. I love him. <laughs> really the extent of the argument Matt has made on his dozen or so videos on the topic. And every video is the exact same thing. It's Matt responding to other people's opinion with his opinion, but he presents his opinion as a fact. It's literally just him making semantic arguments. For example, Charlie's original video argues that React content is good exposure for small channels, and that Viper's solution of getting rid of React content won't help small channels. So even right away, his initial tweet going for the most extreme approach possible, all reactors are bad people, exploit others to benefit no one but themselves, collectively stolen millions of dollars from actual creators, and have stopped countless thousands from having a career. I wonder how many small channels are out there shaking their fist right now, like, damn you, Pokemon! 
main my channel died because you watched my video on your stream and said nice things about me. But I would like to give you a couple of examples of times where channels we've reacted to, very small channels, have been able to turn it into a full-time career and it has really helped them grow. Viper then responds saying he never argued on behalf of small creators. And there's no guarantee that now that the React content- Viper doesn't care. Viper will not- Okay. He will not- <laughs> <laughs> Viper will not <laughs> comment on any video made about him unless it had 150,000 views. Well, that's right. <laughs> he, he made a cutoff, didn't he? Like, no yeah. small reactors, please. I'm only like, oh, what an idiot. So I he will know. not, so he, like, any videos made about him, it's not about reactors. Any videos made about him, he will not respond to them unless they got 150,000 views. But That's he'll hilarious. spend he'll spend like all day replying to nobodies on Twitter. Yeah, like I don't, I don't understand <laughs> his logic. Like what, uh, what an idiot! He's actually like there's nothing up there, dude. I don't know how he's responded to anybody on Twitter. He done blocked everybody. Vangelina Sco got blocked by him. Dang. Yeah, I, I, I got blocked me. by him as well. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even, I, haven't, I haven't even talked about him. It must be because like I'm following somebody yeah. he doesn't like or like yeah. that sounds uh. You know, it's <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. Since gone, those eyeballs turn towards the small YouTubers. You can't prove that. Nowhere in this document do I use small creators anywhere. Anywhere! There's no way for you to prove that if the React content wasn't there, all of those eyeballs that they are occupying of that finite pool of impressions would be redistributed to the smaller creators. You have no way of proving it. Nobody really does. Then it is fantastic that not even for a single moment did I come anywhere close to arguing that point in all 14 pages that I wrote. But he did. He says creators who are reacted to should strike down the reactor's channels. And they should do it for all those people who have had to quit the career they love due to a reactor's greed. In the same video where he says he didn't make the small channels argument, he makes the same argument. You have collectively denied thousands of people careers because an algorithm has a better chance of serving people content that they want to watch long-term than you do watching videos at random. Whose careers are they denying if not small creators? This is- He is such an elitist. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie does have a point. Semantics to frame Charlie as being dishonest when he's not. If Matt could name one big creator who's lost their career due to React content, that would give his argument a lot of backing. But he doesn't name them because that person doesn't exist. It's a made-up scenario. Hell of an argument you got there, Matt. Another YouTuber tries his best to cite some sources on why React content hasn't hurt his channel. Viper says his sources aren't good enough to draw those conclusions, and then he recites his own argument, which has zero sources. And without any obvious sign of benefit, Nakrit decides that he just needs to invent benefits, that while he can't show them to you, you should nevertheless just trust they exist. That's the... You know, his whole problem is he thinks he knows everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's his whole oh, problem. Yeah. That's his whole entire problem. He thinks he knows everything. And he's just spitting word salad as well. Like, yeah, nothing actually, actually, like, nothing actually makes sense when he talks. Like, it's all just a bit of roundabout circle and goes back to the same point. I just, I just, yeah. Ah. Uh... I think that's why people actually do react content on him because no one can actually watch him straight up. Right. Break yeah. it up. Dude. Same with you. He's so unself aware, he just screams 14 pages over and over again as if that proves his point. 14 pages! 14 pages, 14 pages. Um, Passion says, I'm Australia. I'm Australian, and I think we need to send Dark, Dark Viper to New Zealand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, look, um, I feel bad for the New Zealanders, to be honest. There's a <laughs> foot in the ocean somewhere. Passion. Yeah. Oh, my God. It is over and over again, as if that proves his point. 14 pages! 14 pages, 14 pages, painstaking detail! Viper said Ethan meme him saying 14 pages has traumatized him. It's 14 pages! <laughs> because one of my favorite oh, no. people on the internet, Dark Viper, 14 pages! I don't think Ethan is a very good person, and he's using a soundbite of one of the most traumatic, angry moments of my entire life for many, many years. Bro, you got traumatized. <laughs> really you need oh, to be a t-channel you need to be a t-channel at this point if that traumatized <laughs> you you need to be a t-channel sir oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> on his stream perhaps a hundred times is a bit more than excessive and very sick how is this traumatic for you you're angry over nothing viper writes an essay where he name drops charlie baby godzilla thank you for gifting five memberships and Thank I heard you. the game. Why didn't it show up? I heard it. Oh, seven's in the chat for baby Godzilla. Nice one. Wait, is it? Is it not showing up because of that? Why is it not? Oh, it's not showing up the picture. That's why. Okay. Oh. I don't know why it's doing that. I need to come up with an actual picture for gifted. Right. I don't know why it's not showing up. I'll have to fix it. I still haven't fixed the peepaw thing either. 
Oh, no. <laughs> we still have people going ding, 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 ding. Baby That's Godzilla, <laughs> thank you again. Appreciate Thanks it. Again. argues that he's a harm to the entire creator space and draws comparisons to Grape. So Charlie responds. You see, Charlie responding to this viral public document about him actually makes Matt the victim because Matt didn't make the video yet. Of course, I will applaud Charlie. By coming out ahead of my video, he can undercut it so heavily that it will no longer be taken seriously. The ideas within it will not be looked at with an open mind. Good job using your platform to crush down dissent against your empire of unpaid labor. If you did- Oh my god, bro. Really? He's so annoying. He is oh annoying. God. Oh my god. But wait. We, like, okay, Australians, we do not claim him, okay? You, anyone can have him. If, if someone just take him from us, please. Like, that's, I can't Oh, Canada can take him. Oh, yeah, yeah. give him to Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send him to Canada. Canada. Or France. Yeah, fuck Canada. Yeah, yeah France. Fuck France. Yeah, yeah, France. Yeah, France can get him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want him to respond, you shouldn't have tweeted the essay. He frames all these people as corrupt, but maybe they just disagree, man. That's why Eggman's not responding to your long ass essay. And none of these people care enough at all. They just want some views. He ended relationships with friends over this, struck critical reactions of him, and openly abused the DMCA system. And he's always been this way, spazzing out and banning- You know why he ended his friendship with Carl Jobs? Why? Uh -uh. Because Carl Jobs uh, took a sponsorship that I think Asmund Gold owns the company. Oh, uh, huh. so associations made yeah. him guilt by association. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What a pussy. Dark Viper Dude. is a T channel. He just does Dude. it a little differently, but he is a T channel. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Star Wars PCs. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Um, wait, Muda's Canadian. Okay, but Muda can handle him. I have faith in Muda. Muda can handle Dark Viper. True. Ding, ding, Supporters ding, for ding, not ding, being ding, good at Among Us. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god. Baby Godzilla just super chatted a hundred dollars. Whoa, thank you. Oh my god. Really Look, people popped up for that one. Yeah. Thank you so much. People all did. People all popped up for that one. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's so amazing. Thank you. And baby, yeah, Goz yeah. baby Godzilla goes moo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Yes. I apologize. I'm still a little new at the game. <laughs> if you don't even know how to win the game, why are you playing? I do. Oh. I just, just want to say that's how Matt Pitt talks to me when we're playing Blazing 8. Okay? No, oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. That is exactly how Matt Pitt talks to me when we play Blazing 8. He is horrible. Sorry, I mean. Claiming other speedrunners have made his life worse simply because they were better than him. He has made my life worse, measurably so. And being depressed because a guy trolled a forum. Why must my life suffer? Why must I suffer <laughs> so with no one caring for so long? This is a lot. God! Oh, where's where's that tiny violin? Can we bring that out? Like, it's just Eva. It's... Oh, Eva. Yes. Yeah. I need you to go to this video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Made my life worse, measurably so. And being depressed because a guy trolled a forum. Why must my life suffer? Why must I suffer so with no one caring for so long? This is. I, I want that as a new donation. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I need to uh, find I, out where it is, but I'll find it. It's. Uh, I can tell it's you so the fifteen good. right before fifteen forty six in this on this video. Yep. Done. Okay. That's great. This is a lot. I need a break. With few cold oh, turkey, maybe bread on sandwiches. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> Willie. I was wondering because usually his shit comes up in the. I was like, Willie hasn't done a sponsor yet. Willie, where's your sponsor? Okay, buddy. Making it up. Okay, I'm buddy. A all right. <laughs> November of 2023, when Viper struck Chub Logic for reacting to his video. Now, this is a big deal in the commentary space because a heavily critical reaction video getting struck down because the original content creator didn't like it is a threat to the nature of the commentary community where the entire point is to criticize and engage in online discussion. At this time, I had yet to see Chud's video, but when Tom tweeted, hello, Dark Viper, people are saying you filed a DMCA takedown on a fair use commentary video by Chud Logic, hoping to get some kind of comment or clarification. I said, I agree, especially coming from the fair use guy. At this point, it wasn't even clear. <laughs> And that's why I put the fair use guy on our thumbnail. <laughs>
Mr. Viper filed the DMCA. It wasn't filled out correctly and was full of spelling errors. This is either someone trying really hard to sound like Dark Viper, or it's just him because it is worded in a way that only he would say things. I'm gonna try not to like make fun of this too much here, but it opens with saying, I have made particular study of fair use law. But if he did, stating why is a reasonable ask. He was acting so shifty on stream about it. Hey Dark Viper, were you the one who filed the DMCA on Chud Logic's reaction to you? <laughs> just wanted to clarify if that was you and not an impersonator. Uh, Nicholas, I know you're a uh, historic star. I don't care. He's such, he's such a oh pussy. God. He did do it and now he's like, yeah, he's such not, a pussy. I'm not, I'm not responding to that because I know you're a shit stirrer. Righto. He screenshotted my tweet and said, I gotta say, the staggering irony of you going after his son right now for being uninformed and yet speaking confidently, then coming out with this take that's just the absolute polar opposite of my viewpoint that I repeated at nauseum for the past four years is breathtaking, my dude. He then messaged me two videos, time stamped with him saying, he doesn't think React content falls under fair use, but even if it did, he doesn't care. While I did take one paragraph to point out that the React content I was criticizing is not protected under American fair use law, I further went on to say that even if it was, I wouldn't care. The reason I think React content shouldn't exist has nothing to do with America's antiquated ideas of copyright. At this point, I was confused because what did I get wrong that was on the level of his son. All I did was make a tweet, and it was that I called him the fair use guy. Viper's talking past me a bit. When I'm calling him the fair use guy, I just mean he's somebody who argues about it, which he did in his document. That's all he argues about is fair use. That's all he <laughs> argues about. He cited Legal Eagle's video on fair use when making his own video. You can watch Legal Eagle be the 900th lawyer to explain this. All I'm saying here is he should give a statement for why he struck it down, not why he's a champion of fair use, which I think is how he's taking it. He wants to argue the semantics of me calling him the fair use guy. Am I the fair use guy, Willie? Is that even in the ballpark of who I am? And I clarify, you were the most infamous for saying React content isn't fair use, which I don't even think your stance is crazy. You should address the Chud thing if you haven't and show receipts for why you struck it, if you even did. He then replies, do you honestly think my stance actually matters? Yes, it actually matters more than anyone else in this situation. You're the copyright holder. He he just doesn't act like a normal person. Everyone else is acting so reasonable. He no, he acts like he's very angry at the world over other stuff besides what he's projecting about. Such a yeah. victim, dude. Yes. Yes, he has a huge victim complex. Huge victim complex. It's horrible and it's very unbecoming. Just saying. Yes. Unbecoming, yes. And thank like you, that. baby, baby Godzilla. Thank, thank you and goodbye. We really appreciate it. Bye, Bye baby Godzilla. Baby. Thank you. He's so over the top. He then hits me with, how long have you been doing this, Willie? At this point, I realize I'm talking to a crazy person. He's not directly answering anything. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride now. I go a long time. He states, I have no way to not be patronizing when I say this. Perhaps not long enough. Have <gasps> you taken a peruse at what's being said about me? I don't care. I just want to know if you struck the video. It's a combination of things shown false in about a six second Google search and that everything is false about him. All I wanted to know is if Viper struck Chud and why. He's being so indirect. If Viper just said it because I don't think it's fair use, that would have been a good enough reason for me. Chud's even been reasonable about it. How is the market? for your original work affected by this use. There is no reason to watch the original if you have viewed the re-upload. All information and graphics have already been seen. It's not a re-upload when you're adding context to things, when you're adding your thoughts and opinions on things. That's not a re-upload. A re-upload is literally taking the video and either quote unquote reacting to it and not doing anything, not saying anything, or literally, quite literally, re-uploading the video onto your channel. Yeah. True, yeah. But if you're adding commentary to it, that is not a re-upload. Yeah. Come on. In. So, I think this is arguable um, as to whether that's the case. Because, hmm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm willing to kind of accept that, yeah, it is obviously the full vid nine minute video that he uploaded. Um, but like, what with the way it's been transformed and the way that I'm commentating and things like that, is it is it really like a replacement to the original work? Like this is something where I think it's a bit uncertain as to how that would be viewed. Yeah, it was a nine minute video, and my edit of it was like between thirty five and forty minutes or something. Like that. Exactly. Now you tell me his edit of him reacting to that video, a nine minute video went thirty some to forty minutes. Yeah. You can't ding, tell me ding, he ding, didn't ding, transform ding, it. Ding a ding ding yeah. ding ding. CIA, thank you for the five. If reaction content isn't fair use, according to fair use guy, then him playing GTA 5 with no commentary should get DMCA just saying, oop. Oh, oh yeah. I like your profile picture too, CIA. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice one, CIA. Thank you for the five. Like that. So yeah, this is one factor. Not certain on that, you know, legally, not sure what the, the situation would be, but I think that I would, you know, be willing to argue that there's a case to be made that that
that isn't necessarily necessarily true. But he's bouncing all over the place, relating it back to my drama with Hassan, that people should give him the benefit of the doubt. He then asked me if I know what a DMCA is, and he says he can't file a false DMCA if it's his content in the video. But again, he's arguing semantics. He knows what I mean. The colloquial term for a false DMCA is when somebody strikes a video not because of their IP, but because of what the person has to say. He then goes, people have no clue what fair use defends. Consequently, any use of DMCA will create some ire with people. If you struck down Hassan or XQC because they got up and left, or a streamer who didn't add anything, nobody would care. People are mad because you took down a 35 minute critical reaction video of your nine minute video. There's it boils down uh -huh. to he didn't like what Chad Logic said. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's for personal reasons. It's not for like anything to do with Yeah, um, well, like, DMCA doesn't cover personal reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ridiculous. It is because it's a critique. Yeah. Isn't it? So that falls under fair use. Like, that's exactly. exactly what he's doing. Exactly. This is stupid because Viper's critique of React content is that they're taking the hard labor of others and passing it off as their own, not adding anything worthwhile. And how React content harms everyone except the Reactors. Reactors to mean the people who watch videos and pause occasionally. Some other things people stupidly call reactions, like commentary content, can be fair use, but not watch parties. How skilled you are at pressing the pause button and having- Okay, let's- let's talk about something. Okay, mm -hmm. I hate how he calls mm -hmm. it watch parties. It is not a watch party to react to a video with an audience in the chat. It is a watch party, however, if somebody's watching it in a Discord with 20 people. Right. Okay? But then you, can't, a... you can't police that. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. No. You're literally just watching a video with friends. Exactly. Like... It is not a watch party when I am on my channel reacting to a video and my audience is watching it with me. That's not a watch party. Mm-hmm. Uh, Star, I just got finished saying it wasn't a watch party. Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Don't say, that. I, don't say that. Oh my god. <laughs> the discussion with your chat is entirely irrelevant. Chud reacted to a low effort nine minute stream segment of Viper being salty that Jax Films was getting praised for criticizing Sniper Wolf. Chud reacting to and making fun of Viper took more time and effort than Viper's original video. Like what Sniper Wolf does is orders of magnitude more creative, at least what the editors oh. do, than what Asmund got. Wait, what? Sorry, can you tell me that again? What, what was that? Chat is entirely irrelevant. Chud reacted to a low effort nine minute stream segment of Viper being salty that Jax Films was getting praised for criticizing Sniper Wolf. Chud reacting to and making fun of Viper took more time and effort than Viper's original video. Like what Sniper Wolf does is orders of magnitude more creative, or at least what the editors oh. do, than what Asmund got. <laughs> oh, what? How? Explain that what? to me. How? <laughs> what? What's, what's he doing? Because what's what? Because the thing is, is what Sniper Wolf does is exactly what you're not supposed to do for a reaction. Yeah. That is... No. That's backwards. That is so backwards. Thank you. <laughs> he, is, he is just creating these distinctions where no distinction exists because he wants to shit on the stream as well. That's my interpretation of this. I don't see any other way of interpreting yeah. this. Because you can have criticism of Gold's React stuff and there's some good arguments against it or whatever. But like... Asmund Gold does say a lot of stuff when he's watching these videos. That doesn't mean legally he's justified, because I don't know if that is the case. But the idea that, like, Sniper Wolf is more creative, I, I don't know. Has he even watched the fucking Sniper Wolf video? Doomer Media gave a- Thank you, exactly. True. Boo, Doomer Media. Boo, Doomer Media. Great take for why oh. this point makes no sense. Even using Viper's logic. Looking at Dark Viper's original argument- He does have a good point in this part, though. There is no ethical oh, okay. justification for striking Chud's video. It is not parasitic. It is not exploitative. It is not lazy, and it is not a market replacement. The only justifications you can really give are legal justifications, which should not matter, because Dark Viper himself is claiming that the legal arguments don't matter. I just don't know anybody who watches Chud's video tearing into Mad and views it as a market replacement. If I'm wrong, he should be able to show the damages. So it's not a market replacement. Uh-uh. It's not, it's not, it's not a re-upload. It's like, bro, what? I, I'm thinking if, okay, if he's saying that his views are being affected by people reacting, maybe it's because you're such an unlikable person that people don't want to go check out the original. But like somebody like Willie Mac, he gets more views from people reacting because he is so likable that people want to go view the original. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're just unlikable, bud. Yeah.
similar to how Mad Seasons did when Asmund was using his title. Here's the other thing with Viper. Every time someone has a critique of them, he claims that it's out of context when it's not. Hey guys, I'm gonna take this thing entirely out of context. He is so keen to poison you against this 14 page, meticulously argued document that he goes to the length of finding tweets out of context. He doesn't show the context. And to say that I'm taking things out of context to poison the well is very disingenuous because I didn't take them out of context. I'll show you the whole context right here. One of his fans pointed out their disappointment that he would compare React streamers to a, someone that would commit sexual abuse. And he argued with this person by saying, saying that their behavior is similar to someone that would sexually abuse someone. Fuck off. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck my off. Oh my god. That's I, crazy. That is, that is so bad faith. That is so oh. bad faith. <laughs> to even break, you know you've lost the argument when you have to say something like that. Yeah, like that's oh, just, yeah. Absolute, that's just absurd. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> much so. What, Eva? I said it really is, yeah. yeah. Yep. Who people who go around in real life and drug and rape people, so. I just wish every person who makes that claim would care enough to go back and read my old essay. And in the context of my original essay, these references are still perfectly fine. Viper then says, I perhaps may have read more in regards to fair use than any person alive. He then corrects himself to any person relating to this case. He then says he took down the reaction video, not because of the content, but because it was a reaction video. He then wraps up this anime-esque mod. So it wasn't because of the content, it was because it was reacting. We have read more in regards to fair use than any person alive. He then corrects himself to any person relating to this case. He then says he took down the reaction video. Not because of its content, but because it was a reaction video. So he's out here false DC, DMCAing people. He's false, he false, yeah. he's falsely copyright striking people. Yeah. You know, YouTube has rules against that, right, Dark Viper? Right. Mm-hmm. They have rules against that. Video, not because of the content, but because it was a reaction video. He then wraps up this anime-esque monologue by connecting it back to me calling him the fair use guy. And I'm like, but you are the fair use guy. You just said you know about it more than anyone else alive and you talk about it routinely. If you read into it, fair use is incredibly weak in what it defends. Um, I 100% agree with you, Mr. Gamer. Yeah, Mr. Gamer said bullshit. He got ass hurt that Chud Logic criticized him. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Hey, talk to the chat. I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick. I'll be right back. Talk to the chat. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. Okay, chat. Hi. So, he does have too many teeth, and he does have squiggly yeah. spaghetti arms. Uh, he does. I ain't ever seen somebody with such weak arms wear shirts with no sleeves like this. Like, not at this capacity. <laughs> like, it's insane. It's funny, because a lot of people in Australia do wear, like, singlets or, like, tank tops or whatever. So, mm. I, I kind of get that, but... Uh, I feel like his teeth are lifting more than his arms. Yeah, seriously. My thing is, uh, living in Australia, I feel like you should have some buff arms from swinging at them big old spiders y'all got. Well, you'd think so, but I don't think he goes outside. Yeah, he ne he needs to. Yep, yeah, for sure. He definitely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep up. Uh, well, I don't even know where he's from in australia it would make sense if he was in west australia because you know john swan etc but um oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah wait why What's is pretty typing now? out eva your pettiness level for comebacks has enhanced and we're so proud what did you do while i was gone uh not much uh what part did you like pretty yeah yeah what part? what part was it yeah <laughs> Cause she, I mean, Eva's got some good ones. I, I don't know why. She I don't know so what. You, the, like. it, no, it's this <laughs> grand scheme that Eva is a sweetheart. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, keep it. I feel like Eva's got some good zingers. Okay, Dude, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain gonna something to y'all. I'm gonna explain something to y'all. Right, and y'all might not believe this because of how words come out of my mouth. All right, but actually, I'm the nice one between the three of us. Okay. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's not wrong. Y'all backed me oh, up on I'm that. A, that was amazing. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sweetheart. Like, I don't... Buddy, I, actually, you really are, to be honest. You really are. You, you... I just really don't like ugly people. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love my girls. I wouldn't trade y'all for nothing. <laughs> nothing in this world. Swear to God. All right, let's keep going.
anyone else alive and you talk about it routinely. If you read into it, fair use is incredibly weak in what it defends. There are even courts that may have ruled against H3H3 given how they've ruled in prior fair use cases. When he filed a strike against Chud, he unnecessarily listed his credentials, even though it's not relevant to people filling out the form. The fact that Matt is so mad that I called him the fair use guy is perfectly on brand for him. Viper disagreed saying, it's like if you said Viper is the Lego guy and when I said no, I'm not the Lego guy, you respond, why are you bringing up Lego right now in my DMs? Checkmate. Bro, if you made a 14 page essay about Lego and then wrote in my DMs that you know more about Lego than anyone else alive, I would call you the Lego guy. I feel like I'm talking to a schizophrenic. <laughs> you make a I mean, honestly, yes, that makes sense. And like, what do we, yeah. like, what do we call Ethan Klein? He's the, we've called Ethan Klein the fair use guy because he's actually fought it in court and he knows about fair use. You want to know about fair use? You go to Ethan Klein about fair use. You yeah. Know? yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from, but yeah, like I, yeah. I just know him as the uh, as the bully. But you know, to be honest, but. well, yeah, but he literally <laughs> is when it comes to fair use. Ethan Klein, and we've said it on this channel before. Ethan Klein yeah. is the one that knows about fair use. He's actually yeah. ha he's had to fight it in court before and won. True. You know? Yeah. I mean, listen. I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day. So true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got that video and repeat this without showing any of the context of him calling himself a fair use expert, especially coming from the fair use guy. In my work, multiple times, I have specifically laid out that my criticism of reaction content has nothing to do with fair use. Willy here showcases how none of these people had any interest in watching even one of the videos I've made outlining my thoughts on this topic. Yet even despite being aware of their ignorance, they don't care. They still make claims like this one. I did watch your original video and read your essay. Again, the only reason I called you the fair use guy is because you argue against it with react content, which- I can't believe Willy literally has to argue this. This is, this uh... is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. They really had to make a whole segment about this. Is true. I actually DM'd Willie Mac Show and said, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm clearly not the fair use guy. He should not said, bro, if you're not the fair use guy, why are you in my DMs talking about fair use? Like if he called me the king of Lego and I messaged him and said, hey, I'm not the king of Lego. What are you talking about? But Willie, that would be all the confirmation that he needs that I am actually the king of Lego. Am I crazy? He did call himself an expert in fair use. He knows more than anyone else related to this case. I wish you shared that DM. I feel like I'm getting trolled. No He's literally yeah. like Ethel. He's literally like Ethel. Literally. Hard. Mm -hmm. He takes things, he doesn't understand nuance. He's probably autistic. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. I I, he's autistic, definitely. Mm -hmm. He's gotta be. He needs some sunlight, yep. <laughs> you know. Jesus bunny, mm -hmm. Jesus bunny. None of these people, when wanting to understand my positions or why I was doing what I was doing, thought to look at the entire series that explains exactly that. I sincerely cannot fathom that level of stupidity or indifference to the truth. I have now watched all of Viper's React content series, and it is just the same video reposted over and over again, with no new data or findings. Viper would give his reasoning for striking Chud, saying that it's not because of the criticism or the hate, but because React content, in principle, is immoral. I dislike when my viewers characterized by a disagreement over people adding to the content, as this is what others complain about, but not me. Who is he to say who, what is immoral and what's not? Who is he? Is he God? Mm. Is he some supreme being on YouTube? Who is he to say what's immoral? He's the fair yeah. use guy. That's why. Well, okay. Good point. <laughs> good point. Good yeah. point. It would be irrelevant to me if the video XQC was watching was about what it was like to live with severe brain damage, something he could provide sincere insight into. It would be equally as irrelevant to me if Hassan Pike was watching a video about how to exploit people for fame and fortune while being a lying hypocrite, something that appears to be the only thing he actually has expertise in. It wouldn't matter to me because addition is irrelevant to my issues with reaction content. To give a very, very brief summary, my issues are with the market impact of reaction content. We have two groups of people, reactors and creators, but only one of these puts forth effort and incurs risk and cost. I already showed why I disagree with him, but he believes it and he was willing to take it to court. And Viper has every legal right to do that. I just don't think this case lines up with his moral reasoning. Shud doesn't have money to go to court, so we had to take the video down. But then- That pissed me off so bad. That mm -hmm. pissed me off so bad that Chud had to take his, uh, video down. That just... pissed me off. Yeah. Viper inarguably started to falsely copyright strike people. He admitted to abusing the DMCA system when it comes to unfavorable clips of him. So people start making fun of him, using old clips of him getting unironically angry while playing Among Us. He runs around the entire fucking map to come to O2, and I'm like, I had no, nothing to say. I was literally speechless. I did not speak that entire time because I was so confused why we were staying the game. I, I have never been this mad at a person the entirety of my life. I apologize. I'm still a little new at the game. <laughs> if you don't even know how to win the game, why are you playing? I do. <laughs> oh my god you know he was such a colicky baby like i bet he was like the most whining ass baby yeah he he's was definitely too. he's Go gotta be an only child too right like this yes. is like 
this is like a lifelong that, thing for him. He's locked uh-huh. into this personality for sure. Right. Uh, I'm just getting like PTSD. Unnatural. I'm just getting PTSD. <laughs> think about how Matt yells at me about believing me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like no wonder he doesn't have any friends. If he talks like this to people he doesn't know, yeah. just randomly yeah. online, how is he like talk about people that he does know? Like he's he's always oh, going to be good right. Point. He's always going to be yelling at somebody because they're doing something wrong in his eyes because it's not how he would do it. Like, it's I, it's such a small man syndrome type of behavior. Yes. Right now. Uh, yeah, it's like nobody, it. it, it's, he's got to be one of those friends that can never be satisfied. Can oh, you yeah. imagine how exhausting it would be to be his friend? Oh, I wouldn't do what, it. It's definitely a small doses type of dude. Like, yeah. if you were friends with him, like, you, you couldn't be around him for more than, like, you know, a couple of hours, otherwise it just gets too much. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> exactly. Well, I'm just sorry. I... No, I'm just gonna ki- I'm just gonna ban Scott forever because I'm I'm gonna associate this with Scott for the rest of my fucking life. Matt's response is to strike the video because it's out of context. Since this clip has once again been brought up on Twitter by someone who's disingenuous, whatever, I I've now <laughs> said about striking this video. I don't want to. But you're gonna anyway. Or people want to paint me as this DMCA hungry guy. As generally speaking, not me. But I just think this clip is just contributing to misinformation. And I don't think I have some moral obligation to contribute and, or to allow misinformation. It's not out of context or misinformation. But even if it was, that's not what the DMCA system is for. You're abusing it because you're embarrassed of these clips. That's wrong. People start goofing on him by posting an old clip of him saying the N-word. I gave him a weapon. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. I wait. I said it with an A. And he strikes. <laughs> Bruh. God, this is hilarious. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> The two because he's embarrassed. I am the rights holder. Of course, I'm going to take down the things I don't like that serve no constructive purpose and keep up those I do like or serve some purpose. In other words, I'm going to no. take down things that make me look bad because I don't want to look bad because I'm too scared to look bad. Yeah, that's because that's, that informa- that's misinformation. Yes. <laughs> I'm really a good guy. It's obvious <laughs> misinformation that someone said something bad about me. Dude. Do you know how many videos I would strike down in air quotes because I wouldn't do it, but I can go and strike down based off of his logic? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can't, if you, why are you a content creator if you can't have people talk about you? Exactly. Ugh. That's the name of the game. You create content, people are going to talk about you. And guess what? A lot of times, you're not going to like what they have to say. That's right. just life. Yeah. And that's God. opinion. That's like literally what fair use is, is having an opinion, um, you know, putting your own thoughts out there, yeah. like all that sort of stuff. It's like what? So now that's misinformation because it's not what you align with? A- exactly. Like, no, yeah. dude. I mean, people... Nothing's out of context. Dude. Exactly. It's like... People, even if somebody does take you out of context, I've been taken mm. out of context, but guess what? That's still their opinion. If that's their opinion, that's their opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And sometimes really? you're not going to like them. Yeah. And assholes have opinions. So. Yes. Yeah. True. Buttholes all vary. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a good pause <laughs> game. You're right, Plastron. You're right. That was a good pause game. Look at those teeth. Look at the teeth, uh, bro. You see how big yeah. the teeth are? Way too much teeth. Worry about that, buddy. Go deal with that. Bruh. <laughs> this particular he clip exists for no other purpose than to allow people to disingenuously attack me with it because of the mistake I made when mimicking Franklin due to my surprise at the randomized dialogue. And Shud Logic puts more effort into his reaction video than Viper did in his original video. He strikes it on principle of it being react content. But when people post only the necessary clip, he strikes it because it's out of context. In short, I think this is the last guy I want in favor arguing for copyright. He's a- I mean, can we be for real? You saying the N-word is not out of context. You said it. No. So how is that out of yeah. context? You said the N-word. Even if it was with an A, you still said it so how is that a context and, and that's in fair use as well because it's a clip and not uploading the entire content exactly yeah, like true. you know it's no matter where you look no matter how you look at it like he's it just goes around in circles like yep. I'd, oh, frustrating Mm-hmm. Emotionally blinded, his ideas aren't well thought out, he engages with criticism poorly, discrediting critics by using semantics, and speaks as if his opinions are based in fact when they're not. It is just annoying that he doesn't explain at all why there could be some small impact that he's unable to see. Bruh, I wish you'd reflect on that. I'm dying inside, <laughs> and all I see are demons. 
Viper's a very emotional guy. We talked about how Ethan traumatized him for saying 14 pages. This reminded me that very recently I found out that Ethan has something like six different sound effects of me on his podcast. Well, you shouldn't act like a fool and he wouldn't do that. It's Ethan Klein. You act like it's just you. He yeah. does it to a lot of people. He's got Bo Blacks on there. He's got Tipster on there. He's got people on uh, Fresh. He's got um, Fresh and Fit on there, and I believe he has Abba and Preach one on there. I believe. Yeah. Uh huh. He does it to everybody. Not only that, he has used them frequently for over two years. That is just really fucked up. Oh. Divided by fourteen. It's fourteen okay. pages. <laughs> As someone who has been incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, he is one of those truly deserving of being driven off the internet. I don't know how sick of. I promise you, oh. we, we listen, listen, we talk about Ethan Klein being a bully, all right? We have, yeah. we, and we've also talked about how he was correct with the whole um, boss thing, all right? He was right, right on point yeah. with that, right? So we go back yeah. and forth with Ethan Klein. However, I promise you, Dark Viper, we will not be sticking up for you against Ethan Klein. No. Especially mm -hmm. if all he's doing is using a sound clip. Like, yeah. bro, what? an individual Not you have done. to be yep. to do something like this like if he was using it in some wholesome way or shouting me out in some positive way fine but he's just using it to mock me good after yelling at the guy in among us viper would write scott will not be on ban it was not simply that i was having a bad day i was close to tears at the beginning of the stream i felt impressively down perhaps due to a lack of caffeine as i was kicking soft drink i came to the one thing i love at the moment Dang. among us <laughs> to have it ruined by a guy who didn't just play badly he literally didn't play after this viper uploaded a video saying he has no friends a lot of my life i've wanted to play board games <laughs> No. No. What a twist like, that is. You know? <laughs> I didn't see no. this coming. <laughs> no. Uh, board games always look so enjoyable, but I had no friends to play them with. And the friends that I did have made it even worse that they would play board games. He was homeschooled. Oh, yeah, gotta be. Gotta be. He had to have been homeschooled. Yeah, yeah he wasn't socialized enough. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. He wasn't. And not invite me. Huh, I wonder why. It takes oh. something like half an hour to fill the lobby. Like, you guys may think I'm super famous and popular and shit, but there's not a heap of people who want to play with me. As a <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. You seem like such a likable guy. Oh, my yeah, God. This is hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> Matter of fact, I once more asked a Discord full of other streamers if they wanted to play with me, and I got no responses. Again, I think it's maybe the third or fourth oh. time I've tried. I've left that server now because it just brought back all the memories of my fucking friends not inviting me to play games. It just oh, the trauma! Oh no, <laughs> bruh! This is so funny, bruh! No one wants to play with me. <laughs> oh my god up those feelings i don't like those feelings i don't i have people i'm playing with who are experienced the game because that's what i requested and so i kill a guy and the game doesn't end i'm saying like the game's not ending the game is not ending why is the game not ending i'm not a person who is lost for words very often but uh my body that i from the person i killed was found and i and they accused me of the kill and i literally didn't speak i was so just the the, the weight of still being in the game was still <laughs> washing over me i was just having that oh. bad of a day and i'm like is if that is, oh, you go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, if that is his trauma, if that is his most traumatic <laughs> thing that's ever happened to him, dude, he's got a good life. Honestly, like if that if that is what is making him have these flashback moments and him just like spilling out and oh, dude, I like. Do you want to swap? Are you okay? Like I don't understand how this is that far up the scale of traumatic for him. Like, it is insane. insane. I just want to say that everything you just said was a hell of a lot better than what I was going to say, but it was practically the same thing. So, <laughs> just saying. Like, bro, what? Yeah, we're vibing on this. We know yeah, what we're doing. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. 100%. Like, trauma how? What? Do y'all also want to give him shaken adult syndrome? I think he already <laughs> has it. I just want to shake the snot out of him. Like, mm -hmm. what are you saying? You hear yourself, bro? It's ridiculous. Is this is this it? Is is this me one day doing something for myself, and this is the situation I find myself in? And so the game plays out for another ten minutes, and he's sitting there just going, "I can't believe we're still in this game," and we end up losing. And I go off at this guy. I was just so fucking pissed that my one chance to tr save my day to make myself feel good is. 
A.K.A. He spurred out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. He spurred out. Which, okay, listen. I understand about spurging when it comes to video games. There's a reason why I have about four controllers. Because I always have a backup to the backup to the backup. Because I'm known yeah. for kind of like smashing them. There's a reason yep. why at one point I used to have like two or three headsets. Because you always have a backup. And then you have a backup for the backup. Because I was thrown for throwing them. Mm-hmm. But bro. Traumatic. Really. Trauma. Yeah, he's getting upset like this over Among Us. Now, I don't play that many video games, but I feel like that is a very not serious game, right? Right. Like, you're probably and playing more games where you feel like there's a lot riding on it. He's playing Among Us. Dude, and, he, you know, he just needs to have his Snickers. That's all it is. For real. <laughs> For real, yeah. Eva. Preach. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is ruined by this guy who joined the game that he clearly should not have been in because he mustn't be experienced at the game, which was the very thing that I requested. And so I timed him out. And then I realized, I don't want to see this person ever again. I don't want to remember this bad day. I want to move on with my life, smooth f***ing sailing, so I ban this person. They were in a gate lobby they should not have been in explicitly and made no mention of their inexperience at the game, clearly deserving of a ban. This day sucks. It is the culmination of every negative thing in my life. I can't. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's like, I hope this guy dies. <laughs> he, is, he is literally going off, off of, he, he's still going on about that Among Us game. What the hell? Yeah. I wonder how long this actual video was that he was talking I'm about. I'm pretty sure it was probably longer. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Oh my God. <laughs> and reinforces in me that I can't have a day to myself. I don't deserve shit. I will what? get back to fucking editing, people. This is. <laughs> oh my god. Now he's acting like he's got better stuff to do, whereas this was like the <laughs> pinnacle of his day at this point. Like, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Which one is it? I don't deserve shit. Oh my god. I will get back to fucking editing, people. <laughs> this is a grown ass man. He is so set that reaction streamers are bad people that he cuts off friends over it. Carl Jobs took a sponsorship from Asmin Gold's PC company, and since Asmin yeah. makes react content, Carl essentially took blood money. Carl said, Yes, this is the reason. I find the reason to be unhealthy and not a good thing. The email isn't. That's so sad to me. And Carl, <sighs> Carl's going through a lot of stuff right now. Right. Uh, cancer. Uh, let's see. Cancer, uh, he has a lawsuit going on right now, and it was something else. Oh, I think, uh, I want to say both of his parents passed away um, in a short period of time, too. I, Carl Jobs is going through a lot right now. You know, that's just, it's real shitty. Real shitty. Say, Carl, I don't have people close to me by choice. Friendship requires trust, and I don't give that out unless out of necessity. I've spent most of my life being kicked by those I've given even a measure of trust to. Regardless of whether you personally felt it meaningful, you broke the small measure of trust I gave you. A currency more rare than anything on this earth. I am under no obligation to associate with you anymore. He feels betrayed because his friend got a sponsorship. You can't have anything nice if you're friends with Matt. No wonder the only people left in his life are his mods. There's this one question he asked, where he asked about, like, who I talk about. Uh, he asked who I talk to about this. Who do I bounce ideas off? And I said to him, um, like, I, I don't talk to anyone really. And then I'm a bit of a loner. Because um, I, in some respects, consider myself to be <laughs> an old dog who was kicked a lot when he was a young dog. And so I don't... <laughs> That's his problem. That's his problem. He never got over his trauma as a child. <laughs> That is his whole problem. I bet you he has trauma from his childhood and he's taking it out on everybody else now as an adult. Yeah, because he grew up as Billy No Mates and now he's the old, old, you know, Mr. Bill No Mates. Like, it's... <laughs> nothing much has changed because, you know, if nothing has changed from when you were a kid to now, maybe look at yourself. Yeah. Maybe have a look annoying. inward. Like, <laughs> maybe it might be you. You know, like... Have a look yeah. at yourself. You know, oh my retrospectively. god. Retrospectively. Yeah. Shit. I don't really trust anyone. Um, I have no confidence. I have. Uh, I just assume that everyone will eventually like work against my interests, unless there's an explicit reason for them not to. I've just never really had anyone in my life that I can trust a lot. Aww. The closest thing I have now is my mods. Um, Bro, oh. something's wrong. Ugh. Something Ugh. is wrong. Mods. If the closest people to you are your mods, something is wrong. Mm. Yeah. I 
but it's not the same thing, you know? Like, if I'm gonna talk to anyone about anything, it is my mods. How can you have no one you trust? If you have, if there's no, if there's literally nobody that you trust, there probably is something wrong with you, rather than everyone yep. else. You might yeah! Period! There you go, yeah. Eva! There you go! Yep, there we go. Yeah. I'd be kind of a schizo person. I mean, this is, this is just very sad to listen to. He's like this with everything. A fellow GTA 5 speedrunner trolls on a forum and Matt is traumatized. Why must my life suffer? Why must I suffer so with no one caring for so long? This man has gone out of his way to insult me at every turn to make my life worse. I have not felt depression like I have experienced because of Rydog since I was a teenager. The thought of living in this world where a single man- You know that's how he always brings up his childhood? Yeah. yeah. He's gonna go make friends with a psychiatrist. He's yeah. exactly- Yeah! He needs therapy! He needs to go see a <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yes! Oh my god! can cause me so much suffering and people will defend his right to do it. I, do, I just don't want to live in this world anymore. What did he do? He lied to the moderators oh and he removed God. his own speed runs, shut down a category and doesn't turn on his FPS limit. What a bad guy. What a justified reaction. He made a three part video series because a speedrunner named Friendly Baron shit talked how he ran the forum. Frankly, I'm afraid I'll come off as petty at this point, but I literally can't fucking sleep. I need more closure. I'm Dark Viper. I'm five seconds behind after four minutes. I'm gonna reset. Where the fuck's the chopper? Dead, gonna reset, like Dark Viper. You're losing sleep over this. Bro, <laughs> somebody beats him in a speed run and he acts like it ruined his life. A guy named Unnamed beat GTA without taking damage. Viper, who was running that same category, then banned this guy from his YouTube and Twitch. Viper justified all of this by writing another brick of an essay. I have known for quite some time that other people were doing runs off this category. People that could run from dawn till dusk. People that had no reason to be entertaining. Had fewer obligations, fewer distractions. Sharing information with these people is almost entirely one-sided. He got mad at somebody for beating his time? Yeah, he's still a kid inside that. Oh my god, he pretty, yes. um, body. He's like, a, yeah. he's a grown child. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is what happens when you don't discipline your children. This is what they grow into. Yeah. Holy Got nothing god. else wow. going on in his life that this is the most important thing to him. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Or at least everything I developed for the run was public knowledge. But the inverse was not true. The result was that anyone running alongside me was getting far more information. What sort of response did you expect from me? A hug? Your success does me no favors. On the contrary, it makes my life considerably worse, with the added fun that I will have to field questions about this. Humanity, society, is a give and take relationship. And I've experienced a massive take with no give. And oh people seem God. to be confused as to why I'm not a fan of this. When I say he has um, made my life worse, measurably so. I was the only person who could have benefited significantly from doing this first. But not only that, failing to do this will now impact the rest of my career. What's okay, he just likes to hear himself talk. Yeah, that's yeah. generally what's going on here. He just uh -huh. likes to hear himself talk because he talks word salad. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. But not only that, failing to do this will now impact the rest of my career. What's funny is this guy did give Viper tips on how to improve his run. Matt is always a victim. He's got ultimate victim status. Even how he talked about me is just weird. This was just me talking to Willie Mac about him calling me a fair use guy. Despite that we had never spoken before, we did already follow each other on Twitter, so I figured why not? The reason we followed each other is because of that old adage, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Both of us think Hassan Pike <laughs> is a blight on humanity and have made efforts to explain that to others. My God, did I simply follow you on Twitter? Are we playing Game of Thrones? In my DMs, he suggested <laughs> that he hadn't even seen the video and this was just some random f***ing tweet and i was like oh okay uh then i then i guess i will this is, this is, this is so confusing this is the entire <laughs> yeah it's time for the red wedding guys this what's so happening. what's up with you telling people we are talking in the dms are you wearing a wire um what? i talk <laughs> to next to no one you know not a hard thing to suss out uh, it was probably when we first talked because you struck Chud, which is kind of a big deal, although I don't remember what I said. The one time we talked, you were defensive and you shifted the topic 30 times, arguing over the minutia of things. Um, I don't know if, you, if you're if you just on the spectrum. Jesus fucking Christ, Willie. Yes. I don't know if you're just on the <laughs> spectrum or if you actually did something wrong here. What did he say about... Our, what did he say about our DMs where you had to defend yourself? Your tweet wasn't about my video. If you were not calling into question my offhand reference to our chat, I apologize for my misinterpretation. I don't understand. You don't remember what you said. I don't understand. You don't remember what you said, but you remember the contents of our conversation about, about it? These messages are confusing. Oh, yeah, he's on the spectrum. 
Ah, Just you mean in. you don't remember what you told others about our DMs, but you remember the contents of our DMs? Some good selective memory there. Oh, holy reply, Batman. Okay. And then he did that, and he goes, you are schiz- <laughs> Willie says, you are- you are acting schizophrenic. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, God, dude. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this of might be this- <laughs> when did I- Wait, say that again? <laughs> He goes, this might be the slimiest fucking thing, my dude, and you know that. That crop, dear God. He's like, <laughs> saying again, things are out of context. It's like, you are definitely acting schizophrenic. That's yeah. definitely what it is. Oh my God. I say I didn't watch his video. He interprets things wrongly and then comes up with entire stories in his head and spews it to his audience. I thought he was discrediting what I said in the video. I was. He hadn't seen it, though, and was just talking shit on Twitter. And so I leaked DMs, deleted DMs. He... Put out DMs. He's the lead DMs. I had seen your video. I don't know why he's saying this. He then acts like I was so privileged to receive a DM from him as if he doesn't send essays to everyone. Also, a year or two earlier, he wrote a manifesto on React content where he drew parallels to rape. It's literally all he's known for in the commentary space. Um, I feel very much so betrayed by this dude. That I mean, that is true. That is what you're known for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not only is he, in, is he entirely ignorant of my work, but um, he just is just spreading lies. And obviously, I never drew parallels to rape. Like, the, the, the person... Wait, oh. what? That's a yeah. lie. Yeah, you did. Unless it's out of content. Out of ton context. Oh my god. No, he definitely did that. He, he absolutely, absolutely did, did that. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh I think god. he is a crazy person. I agree with you. <laughs> position is obviously so absurd that you would think someone with even half a brain, which I'm, I'm confident Willie Mac has, would know this has to be false, but he just didn't care. You literally did do that though, and it's what you were known for. Where is the lie? Like I talk to very few people. I trust so few people. To have me reach out to talk to you for any reason is a very, very strange thing. Oh, I'm so lucky. Thank you, Viper, for sending me your essays. In conclusion, Viper okay. makes some good arguments. <laughs> okay, Willie. <laughs> Dear God, Willie. It's against React content, but he's so unhinged that he makes the dialogue poison. He argues semantics. This is Charlie's attempt to poison the well, and he hadn't seen my video. Hey guys, I'm gonna take this thing entirely out of context to present it as something that it clearly is not, in order to poison you against a 14 page meticulously written document. Plays victim. 14 pages! As someone who has been incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, he is one of those truly deserving of being driven off the internet. When I say he has made my life worse, measurably so, I was the only person who could have benefited significantly from doing this first. And this he is such a wuss. He's so silly. Like, this is just so silly. It is. It's like <laughs> this. It's like we're listening to a 12 year old. Yes. Jeez. This is ridiculous. This is just a small example of him doing these things. He's so invested that he can't see anybody's point of view but his own. He hardly engages. He's the good guy. Everyone else is bad. And that's how it's always been. I got a lot more videos coming out this month. So subscribe to the channel and be sure. All right. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice 14 one, pages! 14 pages! Nice. <laughs> well, what'd you think of that, guys? So annoying. Mm. I so bet good. he was an only child. Either mm -hmm. that or I, he I, was, or either that or he was the middle child that didn't get any attention. Right. Oh, I can see that too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah. No, no, normally the middle child's like cool though. Like they grow up to be pretty cool. Like as a middle child, I gotta say. But... <laughs> oh my God! Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Only child and homeschooled. I could see it. He had to have been homeschooled. He had to have uh, been. Either that, or he was cool. such a nerd in school that the kids didn't like him. Well, maybe yeah. that's where his trauma comes from because no one wanted to play with him as a kid either. Yeah, like, he just—he hasn't—he just hasn't grown up. Yeah, he's yeah. like Peter Pan, but like not knows little version of him. You know, like yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, Rita yeah. says, "I'm voting only child." There are some serious issues there. There are some serious because yeah. he always brings up his childhood. So apparently, he has something traumatized, ha traumatizing happened to him when he was a kid, and he's literally taking that out on everyone else. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like. He, he is... got bullied for being annoying, and then it's just making him more annoying as an adult. He needs to get off the internet. 
Yeah, yeah. look inward, look inward, buddy. Go touch some grass. Yeah. Go see a therapist. Um, get get whatever that is that's holding you back inside. Yeah. Out. Maybe just suck it up. Maybe just suck it up a little bit, and even that would help a lot. Yeah. Yeah, toughen up. Eat some concrete. Do yeah. something. You know. Yes. Uh, Gamer says he's 33 and acting like he's 15 because someone did something he didn't like and ended friendships or banning people for it. True. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. All right. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. Anything else to say about the video before we get out of here? No, nah, nice one, really. Yeah, it was a good video. Mm -hmm. Good video yeah. by Willie Mac. Definitely go and check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description below, as always. Yeah, it was it was perfect to react to, so thanks for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely <laughs> was. All right, everybody. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, deafen. So say goodbye to the kids. Bye, kids, kids. And look out for some videos being uploaded very soon to the channel as well. So keep your notifs on and have a look out for them. Yes. All right. All right. Catch. Oh, wait. Say that last part again. I deafened before you finished. Oh, I said catch ya. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cut Eva off. I felt bad for that one. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night. And um, we have a video coming out tomorrow. And it's the second. Well, actually, it's technically the third part to the Whitakers. So it's coming out tomorrow. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>